Where's the camera? Oh, so I don't like any hot seas though. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Right. Like your outfit. Oh, cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to shut the door so you don't hear cars going. And then, yeah, yeah, good shout. Put them with them. Yeah. Go on, ready? Yeah, yeah go. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is a record store day video. Woo! Woo! Exclusive. Yeah, is, that, is it exclusive? <laughs> yeah, because we're, we're the first record shop to be showing off their exclusive record day. I saw it here first. Yeah. We're very excited to open all of our um record store day stock for you today we've held off to show it all off together so we can e open each box yeah uh, and it's a very special record store day this year because it's 10 years of tasty records 10 years of trading vinyl records in the town little town of Ultrium in greater manchester <laughs> yeah so if you ever about come and see us bring us a birthday card yeah, that'd be nice. That, that would be lovely, actually. <laughs> you know, ten years since we've been uh, flogging good records to people, and uh, yeah, we've got it, enjoyed every another, minute of it. You know, another exclusive merchandise though. This is only for Tasty Records. We've got these excellent tote bags, really well made. Um, we we'll fit lots of vinyl in those as fit well. Fit lots of vinyl in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's the purpose. You know, um, cool, isn't it? Hey, eh? that good. Yeah, there is other merch coming, but it hasn't arrived yet. It's been pressed for so, for us. Yeah, it's been made. There's like jumpers and t-shirts. We'll show you in the next video. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, it's super right. high quality as well, right? Super, super high quality. High quality. <laughs> super high quality. <laughs> and by that we mean super expensive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, up there as well, next to our 10 Years of Tasty Records tote bag, you've got the Double Groove Meantime Beer, official beer of Record Store Day. Um, that's their tote bag, record store day tote bag, and the first 25 people in the queue are going to get one of those tote bags for free, and there'll be some little goodies inside it as well. Including the t-shirt as well. This is last year's t-shirt, but some t-shirts in the first, if you're first in the queue, you get a special treatment, you know, yeah. so make You've sure you've got to be first out. in the queue. Yeah, for sure. Which might mean you have to start queuing from like, I don't know, midnight or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we can't tell you be when careful. to start queuing from, yeah. so yeah. up gotta, to you. You've got to make your own <laughs> So without further ado, should we get into the stock? Yeah, let's have a look. First box. Uh, First one out the door is Simple Minds 1998 album. Yes, that's right. They were making music and dropping albums in no the late 90s. When you were born. Same age as me, you know, yeah. <laughs> This Crazy. record. Well, this one's not because this one's brand new. Yeah. Um, but yeah, first time on vinyl. It was only available on the CD and the radio before, and it's the 25th anniversary lime green vinyl. And that's a Very great nice. release considering they were never on vinyl before. It's not just another coloured variant of it. It's, mm -hmm. that, that's, that's what, what we like, like to see. What we like know? to see. You know? uh, Dusty Springfield. Oh, I love a bit cameo. of Dusty. Do you want to grab that copy? Yeah, yeah, I'll grab this copy. Classic yeah. Dusty LP, unavailable on vinyl since 1973. Wow, 50th anniversary. Where's the, the frame on that one? <laughs> it's all around us, it's quite uh, okay. well, yes, Can you see that, yeah? Like that, Two yeah. Dusties. Um, nice. We get asked for Dusty Springfield all the time in the shop. Yeah. Um, and it's got some great stuff on there. Mama's little girl. <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> um, Tricky. Oh, tricky, love it. Yeah, see what the, yeah this is this is ninety six, yeah. pre millennium tension sort of trip hop. Mm -hmm. Well, trip hop god really tricky. I so yeah, limited edition pink vinyl. Again, another decent release. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't see that. I haven't seen it before. You know, we like this nineties stuff. Next one, we've got amorphous and androg androgynous. Amorphous uh, androgynous. Future sounds of London. Mm -hmm. Future sounds of London. So ambient techno. Liquid insect swab, mountain goat, in mind, ephedrine, auto pimp, fat cat, pod room, it's an awesome LP. Yeah, 30th really, anniversary. Really cool. Remastered as well, so it should sound really nice. Mm -hmm. Includes four unreleased bonus tracks, which Ooh. is always good as well, isn't it? Always good. <laughs> Lots of different sort of varying genres as well that yeah, in, yeah. in this one box, which is interesting. That's it, yeah. We don't discriminate here. <laughs> yeah. We've got, this is Left Field's new album. Nice. Uh, but This Is What We Do, version excursion. Nice. So loads of remixes, I'm, I'm presuming. Yeah, so you've got dub yeah. mix, dub mix, dub mix, dub mix, acid flange mix. That acid sounds flange. good. <laughs> Fla flange, flange is always a good effect, you know. Yeah, 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 that's really cool. That's great, and we did really well with these albums. Mm. Um, so a dub version, remix version is always going to be 
Yeah. Really left, welcome. Left left field. Roll Karna, yesterday's gone. Now nice. this, like, this was shocking. When I when I pulled it out, I was like, what an excellent picture disc, you know. Um, one of Lil Karna's... Excellent album, yeah. Yeah, that. his debut album, so one of his most popular, and on picture disc, limited edition, it just looks excellent, you know. Tom Mish on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom Mish, yeah. Well, they're the boys, them together. Yeah. That's always, <laughs> that's always family there, like, you know, all having a good time. How long do you think that will take to sell out in the shop? Two seconds. Yeah. One, two. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Maka, uh, another half-speed remaster, which... Jess was talking about half speed remasters the other day. Like, do you have to play your record half speed? Like, how is that? I possible? did not understand at all, but uh, it makes a lot of sense. But it's just a nice uh, precision cut cutting technique. Just makes it sound very, very nice. And this is uh, Red Roof Speedway, one of the first Wings albums. Excellent stuff. That's one box done. Is it? Is it smoke and mirrors? Who knows? <laughs> is it smoke and mirrors? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Raphael the Ninja Turtle, as Jess said. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know anyone else called Raphael, so Raphael, that's how you spell the, it. the artist, of course, <laughs> who, who the Ninja Turtle was named after. <laughs> Raphael Sadiq. Um, oh, nice. Look at all this. Featuring Justin, featuring Jay-Z. Cool. Great stuff. So, 2008 LP um, on vinyl for the first time. Love saying that. On vinyl for the first time is, is, is brilliant. You know, in 2008, it was peak CD, so... Mm -hmm. It's really good to see these things. We have got a few then. copies of this as well. And Raphael Sadiq is amazing. I love him. Yeah, Can I say this copy. picture on the back though is very 2008. <laughs> Isn't it? Very that 2008. Hat, yeah. <laughs> Great stuff. Beach House, Become, Excellent. EP, um, Shoegazy, Shoegazy Indie Gaze. stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. EP, you know, nice stuff. Yeah, really good. I think it's Lovely. been a while since they released any new stuff, so it'd be nice yeah. to have uh... a whole year, I think. <laughs> I think it, they, I had a, they had, a, they had a, an album out last year, you know, I'm pretty sure. But, like, you know. I, mean, I think it was a real issue, wasn't it? Yeah, year, wasn't it? yeah, yeah, yeah. The bad one? Yeah, yeah. No, no, that was Depression Cherry. They had a new yeah, one out yeah, as yeah. well, Twice Upon a Time or something like that. Oh, okay, to be yeah. fair though, one a year, you get King Gizzard that release like what, yeah. 10, one, one so week, you know, they, literally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Beach House, they have a lot of clout behind them mm -hmm. and um, great stuff. Next one, um, Shet. Nice. Uh, 1979 Vera Studio Sessions live in Holland. This one I'm not too familiar with, to be honest. This is like way after his kind of, you know, prime period of the 50s and 60s. But um, a lot of these kind of studio radio sessions are very, very good. Uh, two LP, great trumpet jazz from Chet Baker. Love Chet Baker, one of my favourite guys in jazz. And come and grab it. Come and grab it. We What's got, in the box? We've got a few. <laughs> Uh, of and favourite so Ben's excited mates. for these. Oh. <laughs> this right is one of the best tracks of the last. I don't know. We've got a tiny dance. Should we just say what it is? You know, first. Yard Act, hundred percent endurance, featuring this. So Yard Act, fantastic sort of new ish band, around for the last sort of couple of years, few years, um, just awesome sort of indie um you couldn't even call them sort of post-punk or anything yeah, they're, they're a lot more they're, sharp you know, they're yeah. a lot more yeah they're just real fantastic singer songwriters and some amazing <laughs> yeah. lyrics all sorts and this one um 100 percent endurance they did one version of this which was brilliant yeah. and then they asked Elton John just for a laugh if he'd like to come and rework it, and he did, and it is so good. It is so, so good. It's got to be one of the most random sort of clubs. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And what's the tiny dancer? I'm dance definitely well? having one of those, if not five of them. Yeah, pr the tiny, dancer. tiny dancer produced by Yardak, so that'll be a great cover, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm looking, I've not yeah, actually heard cover. that, so I'm looking get, forward get to it. Get on Spotify and just have a little listen to that because it's such a worldy of a track. Yeah, yeah. well, 100% enjoying Is that on yellow music. vinyl as well? Oh, orange, orange, it's orange vinyl. Orange vinyl, yeah, yeah. Nice thing, you know. Pretty affordable as well, so it's good to see an affordable um, yeah. seven. Like. Should have got more copies of that. We've got another seven inch. Every Ooh. breath you take, the police. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, Classic. Two, two seven inches in here. Um, every bomb you make, uh, instrumental. So uh, I don't know what kind of bombs they're talking about there, but like, you know. Um, nice kind of synchronicity cover on there as well. Uh, they always, they kind of always come out with these kind of things, police yeah. every day, you know, do well. Uh, another seven inch, uh, one which will be very popular on the day, I'm sure. Uh, David ah. Bowie, uh, DRAM singles, 1964, 1967. So when 
Bo was kind of struggling to make a name for himself early on, you know, and he was doing like mad stuff like the Laughing Gnome and stuff, you know, and uh, it's all here in this box set. And I know you Bowie collectors really want everything, you know, <laughs> so if you want it. And, and, and Record Store Day is here to make that happen, you know, whether you like it or whether not. Whether you like it or not, yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> we've got the 1975 live with the Philharmonic Orchestra cassette tape. Uh, it's cassette tape day as well as record store day. Yeah, we um, keep the retro <laughs> dream alive here yeah. with cassette tapes. Someone, someone mentioned it in the shop actually how they love, you know, the it's card. Just a paper it's not card in a. Sleeve. It's not in a, you know, bit of plastic. It's in just a card sleeve, which is really good. You know, it's great. Um, just I don't know, a lot more satisfying to find them having it in a plastic case. Oh. Celeste. Uh, great singer-songwriter stuff. Uh, EP, six um, six tracks, pink vinyl, including a lyric sheet as well. A really good cover on there as well. And must be going to War Child as well, which is a great cause. Uh, yeah. They do loads of music War Child stuff, but yeah. War Child don't do music. No, no, I mean, <laughs> a lot of musicians give to War Child, which is a great cause. But, next box. <laughs> Any more copy? Uh, the Jazz oh, Dispensary, every year they come out with one of these and every year it's solid. Um, loads of great kind of, I don't know, future jazz, contemporary jazz, yeah. psyche stuff, soul Jean stuff. Jean-Jacques Perry, Dizzy yeah, Gillespie. Yeah, yeah. Um, Neo Real Soul, nice. yeah. it's great, like, you know, um, and every year it's just, it's on all day, like, you know. I've got quite a lot of these yeah, and yeah. Uh, I might have this one as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I only got one copy though, Ben, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's why I bought it, because nobody really knows what these are so they don't tend to sell straight away on the day so i it's tend to snap them up yeah, yeah yeah it's as simple as that really because they are brilliant brilliant tunes um fantastic fantastic uh easy life so easy, easy life have been making a lot of kind of waves um kind of like kind of solely kind of hip poppy mm -hmm. indie um and this is a picture disc of live so a live set by them and joe well they're meant to be excellent live as yeah. well so i'm sure this will sound that's great. a cool kind of set as well look at the house like neon house you know mm -hmm. really cool um but yeah nice picture this nice use of the pictures there as well i'm sure that'll go quick nice use of the pictures <laughs> nice use of the pictures you know. i like a nice use of picture this oh brilliant yeah violent yeah. fans <laughs> absolutely you love this record you all know Blister in the Sun. Huge tune. Yeah, an massive tune. huge tune. And it's just real sort of happy, upbeat, yeah, fast, yeah. Um, you know, sort of indie punky stuff. Limited to 6,000 worldwide, 40th anniversary. Really, really On good. Craft as well. Craft are always a good um, label. Really nice, that. Really nice. nice. Where are you going? Oh, oh the singles? Got, we only oh, got two of those. Is that the door? It's just blowing. It's oh, blowing okay. in the wind. So, like a can. This is the. <laughs> it's called the singles. Swedish House Mafia, look, there they are. Um, one, Miami to Ibiza. <laughs> it's all the big, Great you know, the well. big tunes from back in the day. When you, you know. <laughs> Swedish House Mafia, though, again, they don't have enough stuff on vinyl. And when we do get them in vinyl, it's just like the new album came out and it was just yeah. straight mm -hmm. away. They're just like great stuff, you know, featuring Pharrell, yeah. Tiny Temper. Don't, yeah, you, don't, don't you bad. worry, child, yeah. so huge. Antidote as well, featuring Knife Party. Knife Party, big favourite of mine as well. Uh, big so, drops. You want to pretend you're back in Ibiza? Yeah. yeah you want yeah, to get yeah. that? Pretend, <laughs> like, pretend. Uh, Gaz Coombs. This is a acoustic version, or like a demo version. Turn the tracks around EP. So um, Gaz Coombs did the Turn the Car Around uh, record this year. And this is his four track EP version of some kind of stripped back demo versions of them so if you like if you like that album this is an essential to pick up on the day another uh, chet release they're really going out with chet baker this year but this is popular the release. popular release you know um this is chet the lyrical trumpet of chet baker um very kind of this is very accessible jazz i'd say very kind of late night smoky atmosphere and um yeah bill evans on piano and everything Really nice tip on jacket on this as well. Really tempted to buy it myself. And um, yeah, great stuff. Mono release. For all the jazz fans out there. Can you be more gentle? Oh, sorry. I'm really sorry. So, um, 
we've got the big moon um these are a great band this came out in 2017 i think it's quite hard to come by as well i've got yeah. a single um of cupid at home but we don't have the album um but these are making waves again now i completely forgot about them so it's really nice to see them back in the shop and the definitely. new music's great as well um so yeah definitely a nice one to pick up for sure nice cover on that as well it is very nice the cranberries wake up and smell a coffee oh, uh, another great so this year this year has been split by um one each look um this year has been split by uh, between great reissues, like we say, you know, great kind of stuff which has never been on vinyl or, mm. you know, very limited on vinyl from 2001, mm -hmm. and like unusually live stuff, which doesn't usually do that well, you know. Uh, but great stuff, this is that end of the spectrum. Uh, Wake Up and Smell a Coffee, 2001, excellent yep. album from the Cranberries. Yeah. A really cool cover on there. Great as well. CD as well, so great to see it on vinyl. Metronomy, another Met Metronomy do a release every year. And this is, again, from their new album. Um, nice, featuring Sebastian Tellier, and oh, I've seen him up there as well, one of my favourite nice. French DJs. Um, but yeah, Metronomy are amazing. They yeah, make, amazing well, I think they've made the best song in the world. <laughs> yeah, that's what he says, The um, Lock, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, what Great a song. song. Yeah, it, yeah, <laughs> I, I think that is arguably the best song ever written. Um, so they deserve a release <laughs> of a record. So I'm they, looking yeah. forward to listening to that. Sam Fender. All the way on. <laughs> Sam Fender, do you want to grab it? We'll show both sides, you know. Sam Fender, uh, Wild Grey Ocean. Uh, not sure the story behind this one, to be honest. Is it a demo or is it seven or? I don't know, but um, what I do know is it's made in France. Yeah, made in France. <laughs> yeah. Sam Fender as well is just, you know, one of the biggest selling artists. Absolutely. Of the contemporary era, you know. Uh, done well. Stuff. He's done well, like, you know. Um, What's next? X Propaganda. Nice, yeah, X Propaganda. Don't know a huge amount about X Propaganda. They did a couple of big tunes back in the sort of uh, late 80s, was it? I think we should probably fact check this. Yeah, fact check. Check. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon we just leave this part in, you know. So yeah, yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll cut it. To yeah, but get... think, because, um, yeah, I don't know. Bits of it. So yeah, synthy sort of pop, there's just remixes of some of the old tracks um, and yeah, some some cool bits. As I say, don't know a huge amount, but looking forward to listening to it, to see what it's thinking. all about, you know. We're going to have mm -hmm. a big old list in there, my customer, alongside, which I haven't mentioned yet, live DJs in the shop yeah. as well, you know, so we really have like the morning to listen to all these releases and so then we've got some killer tracks from Local DJ. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what I'm going to do yet, but we'll go, oh, you guys are going to play some too as well, well aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I'll bring some free <laughs> yeah. in, you know, and bring everyone out. Uh, <laughs> Susie. Oh, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Copy each again. Ooh, oh, loads yeah. of stuff. Go on, you take, take one and pass it along. <laughs> um, yeah, fantastic. Ooh. Some Cascade, yeah. Real good. Clear half and speed gold. again. Cut, cut half speed at Abbey Road Studio. Oh yeah, awesome. Wonder. This nice. feels like a very nice jacket as well. Like, it does. You know. Clear and gold marbled vinyl. Yeah, I feel like these will do well. Great. It's got Triforce on there as well. Look, Legends <laughs> <laughs> Elder. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Really good. Uh, Strolling Bones. Another. Is this another half speed? I don't know. But uh, with an Obi strip, so it's got to mm. be good. I think yeah. the be I think the the main thing about this is uh, replica poster like replica yeah. and yeah. grey grey blue black white vinyl swirling mass uh, so pretty nice collectible thing from Rolling Stone Vegas Banquet one of the best albums they ever did I, I would say the best album ever opening I would, with I si si uh, sympathy for the devil which is yeah. probably the second best song ever <laughs> 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 after we're trying to win the look. Uh, with with the ultimate cover, I'm not entirely sure about the origins of these covers because obviously the original was the white one with the kind of script text. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. this one's the toilet cover. Mm. But what? Which one came first? And was this banned or something? I don't, I don't know. know. I'm it's not possibly sure, US and Europe. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah. Potentially. Very but yeah, cool. great stuff. Really good. No doubt you'll be letting us know yeah. in the comments. <laughs> and if you don't let us know, I'll be very disappointed. Yeah, go on, okay. uh, we've got Miles Davis, Turn Around, Rare Miles from the Complete On The Corner session. I love the artwork on this, it's great. great. Stuff. So this is like Miles' 
funky era, honestly. Like, and one of my favourite albums from him, you know, Herbie Hancock's on here, um, Lonnie Listle Smith. Yeah. Very kind of hard, dirty funk on this, and um, it's a great kind of you definitely know, like one of the best. Vibe. Ew, Miles, 60s yeah. and 70s Miles was like hard to yeah, beat, wasn't it? Yeah, for sure. Really? And it, it's just, um, yeah, I'm actually really tempted by this myself again. Really nice stuff. And, um, you know, space age funk rarities. What else do you need to say? Great stuff. I'll be bringing one of these in, uh, my, the original the original album, awesome. to DJ on the day, for sure. Yeah, for your DJ. Okay. On the day. Well, you know, Dolly Parton. <laughs> <laughs> the Memento, the, the Monument singles collection. Oh, excellent stuff. Oh, she looks so young in that definitely. photo on the back. Yeah, definitely. Dolly Parton Wait. still going strong. <laughs> uh, original 1960s singles as well. Mono master tapes. Awesome. This will go so quick, honestly, and it'll sound amazing, I'm sure. Love loads of Loads of great tracks on there. Two, four, um, six, eight, twelve tracks on side one. You're great. getting a lot for your money yeah, then, aren't you? getting a lot for your money. It's not a four track EP, that's for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> I mean, after her Glastonbury headliner as well. That, um, what was that? A couple she, of years ago. It was Legend Song. The Legend yeah, Song. Yeah, it's yeah, basically yeah. the same thing. Right? Um, yeah, so good. Wish I'd seen it. <laughs> Soul Asylum. Oh, the fantastic. complete unplugged as well. Great stuff. Another great kind of. Obviously, we all know Soul Asylum for the first track there, Runaway Train. Yeah, huge runaway hit. Train. Nice. Um, but yeah, four tracks. Kind of um, emulating Nirvana's um, MTV Unplugged, I'm sure. That's yeah. what we're going for. Just really, really Crazy good. Stuff. If you're a big Soul Asylum fan, that's definitely going to be one time. High on the list. I'm, I would say. Another one. Carol King, Legendary Demos. Ooh, uh, nice. Again, great, great era for Carol King because it's obviously the early, late 60s, early 70s mm. tapestry era. You've got a friend tapestry, it's too late. Uh, kind of similar to the Joni Mitchell one they did last year as well, kind of the demos around blue. Uh, but good, they're doing the best albums as well. They're not just doing, I don't know, like. Carol King's 80s demos because it's like, <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> I mean, some people might want to yeah, hear that. Yeah, Carol King, <laughs> for sure. But like, this is the hot heavy hitters, you know, for sure. Carol King singing in the shower. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Nas, Major Look, God's Son Live, 2002. Awesome. Not sure about this era of Nas, really. Oh, fantastic yeah. era of Nas. Like, um, Nas yeah, get, like... it's got, you know, Get Down on it, um, Got Yourself, Don't you know, it's it. just. It, what else is on there? If I ruled the world, it's just absolute yeah, tune. And the, and the tune. early stuff as well. World is yours, New York State of Mind. Yes. I, 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 I might have to have this. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there you go. What's the, you've got a ludicrous uh, remix of uh, Major Look there as well, which is, I bet that's awesome. Does that, make sense? that Nas one as well, he's playing at um, Park Life this year. So if you can't Manny, be asked you know. to go to Park Life, yeah, you, got you can get him that. live on, on vinyl right Whoa, here. How many have we got of these? <laughs> London Grammar. Uh, this one is one of them ones which on Discogs it's going for quite a lot of money, I think. Uh, first album from them, 2013, mm -hmm. yeah. 10th anniversary version. That's crazy, uh, that's Grab, been 10 Grab. years. Uh, we've got Splatter Vinyl on this as well. Uh, yeah, crazy 10 years. Um, it's heavy. Exclusive sticker on there. Press to gold of black splatter effects, so nice. Yeah, nice thing. London Grammar, big indie act. <laughs> All these thumbnail <laughs> I think it's going to be Taylor though, isn't it? Like Taylor's going to be. Yeah, I think so. Um, Pearl Jam. Nice um, live album from Pearl Jam, recorded in 1988. Yield tour. Uh, look mm. at that giveaway sign. You know, is that the UK? No, they have yeah, giveaway signs like in Australia. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, great. Does look like a UK. Does that, though, does yeah. It? That's what I'm saying. You know. It's got one of them like, you know, windmill things, like, so it can't be the UK. Yeah, it's going to be like, yeah. yeah. Australia. Oh, recorded live Australia, in Australia. Australia. Yeah, it has yeah, to yeah, be. Yeah. But yeah, great tracks from here on um, Pearl Jam. And very popular in the shop, you know. Mm. Great stuff. Nice coffee. It's a long video, this, you know. Mm. You've got to see it. Jess, do you want to talk about Next one, yeah. So next one, we've got a seven inch in of Aurora. It's a temporary high, which is taken from her last album that came out and there's an acoustic version as well um, on the B side of it and um, how I describe her is like a modern day Bjork and I said the most Bjorky thing about this is the fact that it's pressed on eucalyptus coloured vinyl you got the acoustic Green. version on the back as yeah, well yeah acoustic nice. version on the B side as well which is uh, nice. something nice to add to your collection good stuff 
I wonder if Bjork would see herself as the modern day. Bjork. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, another high in demand one, this one, but quite a high priced item for sure. Mm. Uh, two LP Cure Show. So, uh, first time on Two LP Picture Disc. It's about time we had a Cure Two LP Picture Disc for Record Store Day. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I'm sure this is the fifth year in a row or something like that, I don't know. War Child, again. Mm. Um, a few good hits on here, Friday I'm in Love, I can see there. War Child oh, Lullaby, stuff. pictures of no. you. There's some great tracks yeah, on this sure. song. Yeah, great stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, if you want it, we've only got a few copies in, but you've got to be first in the queue, you know. That's the thing. Mark Almond. Mark. Fantastic star. Almond, yeah, the guy with like... I checked this out the other week, something like 40 odd solo albums no after way. Soft Cell. Like, like huge amounts, in incredible amount of music this guy's put out. Um, name a single one of his songs. No, you can't. Anyway. Um, <laughs> but, love. Oh, that wasn't one of those. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was Soft Cell, wasn't it? Um, but yeah, fantastic start, the artist cut. Um, he has got some super fans out there, so they're going to love this. And there is a lot of tunes on there, really good. Um, and he is a good artist, you know, so fair play to him. Frank, Frank's Turner. Wow, look at these tape deck car. Massive, yeah. massive old thing, this. 2023, uh, 10th anniversary of tape deck car. It's on, double. Again, yeah, double vinyl with nice. the demos on the B, on the second disc, which is really cool to see. And Frank Turner's got some super fans as well out there. Sure, sure. Super fans who are going to absolutely love this. Polaroid picture, broken piano. Yeah, on maroon vinyl. Great. Nice. Yeah, great stuff. I think. Uh, what? Which one was oh, this? Was this a new? Was this a new? Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's as in, been... was it? It was it. Um, twenty nineteen. So it's a twenty nineteen album. From Self Esteem, Six Music Darling, um, twenty six <laughs> twenty nineteen album. What? What? What band was Self Esteem in? Um, um, she was in. Go on. <laughs> slow, slow club. Yeah. She was in slow okay. club. Okay. Nice. Put your, put your. Uh, it was slow club. It was. Sure. But <laughs> self esteem. Uh, selling a lot of records. Yeah. Selling out a lot of festivals as well. And uh, we have got more copies of this. Oh. Maybe not <laughs> thank one. God. Which is, thank God. Yeah. Thank God. It's not dented. It's not dented. Don't worry. We've got soft floors here, you know, for that eventuality. Uh, maybe Ben will do a bit of slow mo on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> Woo! Next box. Absolutely love Tears for Fears. One of the best <laughs> bands, one of my favourite bands of all time. The Big Chair, Big Tune. Big um, Tune, Big Chair, well. yeah. Hurting. <laughs> yeah. Great stuff. Uh, I watched a live version of um, Everyone Wants to Rule the World and it was just sharp, you know, it was great. Mm. Like, you know, Fantastic band. Um, so this is a. a, a four side two lp collection of b-sides and rarities nice. so again really looking forward to yeah. listening to like it. we say yeah. there's a lot of uh, when test fairs released their new album like last year the year before um everyone we, we was out. sold so yeah, many yeah. of those and um if you want to complete your test fairs collection you need this you need it mm -hmm. it's not a one it's a need yeah the uh, second biggest release of the year um record store the ambassadors from manchester they're going to come into the shop and uh, sign all these copies. <laughs> so um, make sure you're down early, you know. That's unofficial, by the way. Yeah, they, they, might, <laughs> they might not. Yeah. That's also what we've been told, they might not. We've only got so. one copy of this. No, no, we haven't. <laughs> There's only one copy in the box. Uh, we have got a lot more than one yeah. copy. Uh, you'll see the rest later. This is 1975, their second album. Uh, live version with the BBC Philharmonic Orchestra. Oh, amazing. Um, a load of kind of stuff. Loads of second. old stuff on yeah, there as well. Yeah, yeah. Chocolate. The, new stuff. the sound is great. I uh, think their best song, Chocolate. Yeah. A great song to be uh, heard. Great song. <laughs> Tempted by one of these myself as well. Great stuff. Uh, really nice. What do you triangle logo? You know, with your fingers. Like, the square. The square, yeah. Triangle. <laughs> rectangle. 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 Yeah, we got there in the end. It's not a triangle, it's a rectangle. It doesn't know his shape. No. Yeah. <laughs> you have to look after me. Uh, another. We have got something like 30 copies of that, by the way. A fairly. Um, mm -hmm. I think they've been ambassadors in the past, but a very lucrative record store day artist. Yeah, they're ambassadors in the. Oh, they were on. They were on um, uh, record store day uh, question and answer session so look that up um, and, uh, and wonder if tasty records because we haven't actually checked yet but it's on wait it's Wednesday today they're on 
as we're doing this video, they are doing a question and answer session and their um, our, our question may be answered, you know. Yeah, because we, we sent them a question. Yeah. Uh, it's got Pompeii, all Getting that sort of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> big, big, big record. Was it a uh, cover of Killing Me Softly on there? Oh, really? It looks like it. Yeah, amazing. Which will be very interesting to I, hear. I'm always interested to hear unplugged stuff like this because it does sound a lot more honest, you know, and you can kind of get down to the bones of what made them good, you know? Yeah, a lot more uh, intimate, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And some, you know, a good kind of best of as, along with it, you know? Great stuff. Very nice. Elton John, don't oh, shoot me, fantastic. I'm only a piano player. Uh, see this one all the time, pre love, but not Red Marble, including <gasps> the lyric book. Uh, newly compiled the LP of session demos as well, so excellent. So really great. I mean, I can't imagine what Elton John's sessions sound like, but very, very good. Again, very intimate. Crocodile Rocks in there, I didn't realise that. And um, yeah, great stuff. One of his best albums for sure. Really good. It opens with Daniel, one of his yeah. big tunes. Ellen John could have been the ambassador. He's got two things out this year. Mm. Yeah. It's true. Good off. Not, not relevant enough for record store day, though, is he? No. You know, they want these <laughs> fresh new bands, you know, like Bastille. <laughs> 1975. Um, anyway, uh, Ellie Goulding. Uh, one copy of this in uh, a, a very, very unusual weird. kind of sleeve. Maybe that's, that's going to get the wrecked. <laughs> yeah, it already has got a bit of a trim on there. Um, anyway, uh, after the comments, after we've comments have calmed down about that, um, this is a bonus recycled vinyl package. Uh, uh, Halicon Nights, is that how you say that? Halcyon. Halcyon, yeah. Uh, two LP, Mirror from the Hunger Games. Not, not, I, c I can't tell you a lot about Ellie Golden apart from uh, she got married in York Minster, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I know about her. But, uh, First tracks of Calvin Harris as well, though, yeah, so it'd be a nice yeah. dance he won. Very popular. Very popular, yeah. This is merely a, a taste of, of our 1975 stock. So um, I won't show them all up because we've already gone through that. But, um, yeah. No need to worry, anyway. No need to worry. But do worry. <laughs> Do come, you know, do come yeah. to <laughs> Please come. Yeah. Please come, because if you don't, um, we'll go out of business. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. A few of these. I thought I was ready for that one, that was fine. <laughs> that was fun. Echo and the Bunny Man. Yes! Uh, loads of these. Yeah. Again, this is going to be a big one for this year. Um, 12 inch peel sessions. Always love Ooh. a good peel session as well. Is that Manchester though? They're in there? Or is it? I don't, I mean, I don't know it from a helicopter pad. Yeah. To no, be fair. it'll probably just be London, won't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it says London Hospital like that. Uh, anyway, peel sessions always brings out the best of every band who ever does one. Have you heard the White Stripes peel sessions, Jess? Because you say you like the White Stripes. Very, very good. Oh, anyway, yes. Echo and the Bunny Man. <laughs> um, don't let it get you down. Awesome. Only four tracks on that. Yeah. Yes, yeah, an EP. All oh, most peel sessions are only four. Yeah, tracks. they're only they're quite short. Uh, two Janch. Have we got Janch in here? He's somewhere. Bert else. Janch. Yeah. Doing uh, record store day release. When the circus comes to town. How what a surprise! <laughs> yeah, how appropriate. The one, two, three, nineteenth <laughs> studio album uh, featuring vinyl download, new artwork. Uh, if that's the nineteenth studio album, we've probably got another. I don't know, maybe 12, 13 records still days to go? 1995. 1995. Well, you know, he's not making any more new music now, is he? Like, but, uh, not as many as Mark Almond, anyway. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Uh, we have got another Burt Jones, so um, stick around for that one. Uh, we have... Ooh, what's this? Oh, Bjork. Bjork. Bjorka. Um, Very cool. Loads of Bjork fans in the shop. Uh, Some would say the modern day Bjork. <laughs> the modern day Bjork, yeah. Uh, she did a very kind of shroomy album this year. And oh, this really? is this is the remixes from that. Uh, very experimental. I mean... And, um, what? Go on. The cover's looking a bit like Covid. No one to <laughs> look back at that. Did, did, did you see the cover she did with, like, the uh, chicken fetus? Oh, oh no. God, no. So bad. Like Bjork's, <laughs> she's lost her mind a tiny bit, you know. I don't think she was all there anyway, but you know, last oh last few albums have been a bit questionable. But if you want the remixes from the new album, it's there. There's, yeah. there's a few York uh, York Bjork completists. So they've got to have yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, another big hitter for us. 
We got oh, Happy nice. Mondays, Balearic Beats. Uh, I'm not sure when this was made. I can't wait to listen to this one. Yeah, long. Kinky Afro's on here, Rayvon, Club Mix. Uh, this is going to be excellent stuff. Yeah, this is all your sort of um, big oh, Ibiza yeah. versions of Happy Monday tunes. Yeah. Really and cheap as well, like for records. Mm. Today, yeah, it's properly be, good price, yeah. a little bit of vinyl there. It's, got a few of them. it's going to be super cool for any sort of Manchester DJ. Yeah, you need this Absolutely. In, in, in your box. Easy, easy one to. And I was reading out. about the packaging on this. It's deliberately oh, meant to look like this. Up. It's meant to look like nineties. Yeah, nice. Absolutely. It does, it does look like uh, it, DJ yeah. sort of packaging, which is Love cool. It. Pops in here. Oh, Mike Flowers pops. Wonderwall. So this so is cool. <laughs> this is really interesting release of, you know. Contemporary stuff like Wonderwall, like My Fire, Venus as a Boy, another Bjork one. But it's, uh, it's all done in like a sort of uh, easy listening, soft rock. Yeah, kind of sort of vocal, <laughs> um, vocal pop, vocal pop style, pop which is, is yeah. brilliant. You know, I'm, so, yeah, so I'm cool. looking forward to listening to this. Look Me at the too. velvety cover again. You know, it's everything about that. Yeah. The sleeve is great as well. <laughs> awesome, love it. Here's Bert again. Um, Toy Balloon. Uh, 20th studio album, uh, Jackson C. Frank Carnival. That's a good track. But yeah, um, if you can't get enough of Bert, two of them. Two more. <laughs> oh, no. <nice>. I'm <laughs> Oh, oh wow. music from Mr. Ben. What a TV show. This is a absolutely throwback. cracking, absolute throwback. Um, that is cool. Yeah. Intermittently over Are we going to put this on in the shop? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> track 11, Underwater Music. Track 12, Cowboy Music. They're yeah. like 50 seconds long. These are going to be Sample City. Gladiator Prison. <laughs> Don't know what that's going to sound wow. like. <laughs> But yeah, uh, British classic. You know. Can't wait for that. This is another one you want as well, Jess, isn't it? Oh yeah, this is something that I'm hoping I'm going to get to pick uh, up today. Ah, you'll be alright. Um, so she can't queue though, Jess the, can't uh, it, I can't cue. <laughs> um, so you might pick them all up before me. So this is the remix album of Confidence Man's um, Till TP. So they oh, released yes. this. It's Famous so Marla, good. Yeah. Yeah. It's absolutely incredible. Have you managed to listen to it before? Is yeah, it, the, it's on Spotify. Okay. But this is the first time it's been pressed on vinyl. So nice. they released this EP after their last tour. Totally just on Spotify, so um, it's a really, really, really cool thing to have. Yeah, for sure. Um, Dan Daniel Avery remixes, Tame and Parlour remixes, there's some big remixes there. It's uh, well dancey, it's just a really good listen. Love that. Another one, which is very, very popular in the shop, Green Tea Peng. Oh yeah, fantastic, mm. yeah, so this was um, her first album, um, yeah. which had the huge tune on it, Mr Sun. Oh, yeah. um, which I absolutely adore. I still play it all the time now. It's another one where it just went, so they, they do intermittent reissues of them and they just get sold out and they go for ridiculous money. So yeah. that's just... Limited edition eco make sure you, vinyl. Make sure you grab it like... I'm liking Hat. all these eco vinyls that are coming out as well at the moment. Well, yeah. It's been, uh, cool it's, to see. It's good, but like, they, they, I find a lot of them come out quite murky, you know? Yeah. If well, they, like they, a the red and a green they, they, and they did them is because they ran out of yeah, the stuff that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. during Covid yeah. and they couldn't, um, they didn't have enough colours so they said to the bands like what we can do, which is going to cost you a little bit less money, is we can mix all of the leftover stuff we've yeah. got together and, and press the records on that and then you know you might save the, 50 the best, quid. The best thing about it is that everyone is unique. You know, and we'll label it eco. Yeah, eco. Yeah. Eco. Quality. <laughs> Twelve inch uh, from Bark Psychosis. Scum. Uh, kind of post rocky, experimental, um, noisy as Ben says. Um, yeah, cutthroat razor on there. Only a twelve inch though, so like, um, if you're a Bark Psychosis fan, you're yeah. gonna want to grab. You use you use that for cutting your ears up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> easy, easily done. Uh, Joking, another one, of course. Another one just really has got her eye on. Nice. Yeah, yeah. just I'm gonna end up getting so many. But my one, the ones I want are always here. Though, you know. A few hours afterwards, because no one else wants to. Liquid, them. liquid, oh, no, no, Optimo. No, no. Huge these ones, tune. These, still on rotation on my Spotify now. These, these ones always do really well as well, like the kind of punky soul jazz records um, mm. compilations, because there's loads of great stuff which was only on single, and now you got like, yeah. ridiculous money. So you got to get the compilations if you're. You're after them, you know. Conk. Dead good. Yeah. Great stuff, yeah. Another really good one, uh, which we had a pre loved one in the shop and it just sold straight away. This is Groundhog's Cross Cross Cut Saw. Nice. Uh, nice foily jacket on there as well. Groundhog's great kind of classic rock, uh, bluesy rock on her. 
Uh, not too familiar with this particular album from them, but 1976. Um, yeah, and I just got the cover. Like. Yeah, it's got a Rickenbacker bass, like, you know, it's got to be good. Nice. Um, yeah. And it's got a cat jumping through a Yeah, debris. great outfits as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd like listen to it just for the flare, outfits, me. Flare, like, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, Great stuff, yeah. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice. Um, Larry Levin's Paradise Garage. Um, top Funk, you know, just get top it. Funk. Get it's it got if you know. <laughs> on the back. Never seen that on a record before. That's it. Where's my... No, Press the button to get instantly transported into funk. Sisters of Mercy, Reptile House EP. Uh, again, one which is more hard to find on, on one of the Sisters of Mercy's EPs. Um, yeah, nice bit of 1983 yeah. sort of goth rock stuff. Very good. Nice stuff, yeah. Uh, Madness, Volume 3. I do like, I, I like the cover of, I mean, I like the title of this one. Yeah. I do like to be beside the B sides or the A sides. Yeah. I'm, I'm, Pretty sure they released exactly the same thing um, last year. Volume or three, <laughs> volume two. But again, Madness has a lot of clout, like you know. They do nowadays. Love Madness, great. Yeah, uh, this is another really good remix album which they've done for Record Store Day. I really enjoyed this Falls album, but this is not mm. Life Is Yours. Life Is Dub, so a yeah. dub version of uh, their new album. Which really cool cover on there. I love that gold foil kind of um, look on there, uh, and yeah. Not like a um, Dan Carey dub. Yeah, cool stuff on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I wonder what dubbed false stuff's gonna sound like. You this know? is it. Well, <laughs> you know, can't wait to find out. Tori Amos, Little Earthquakes, the B sides again. Uh, first time on vinyl. First time on vinyl. Collector on vinyl for the first time. All the B sides from her mega hit album, um, Little Earthquakes. Um, or is it? Yeah, it's Little Earthquakes. Earthquakes. Yeah, yeah. That's the name of the album. Yeah. Um, Great stuff. And again, you know, a lot of Tori Amos fans, like we get, you know, get them in and then sell them dead quick, like where we get pretty love Tori Amos. Alison Goldfrapp, remixes EP again. Very yeah. cool. Nice a bit stuff. of Alison Goldfrapp. Really nice artwork on there and everything as well, how it's been compiled. Yeah, some good stuff. So her debut there. album hasn't come out yet, has it? Her solo album. Alison oh, Goldfrapp, right. well, yeah, we're yeah, waiting yeah. to get that one in. Yeah, I'm looking to get it in. So uh, you get the remixes before you get the album, by the looks of things. Sounds about right. <laughs> Uh, garbage. You got anything to say about garbage? Yes? I don't know anything about this, but I okay. like garbage. <laughs> so this is Witness to Your Love, um, previous unreleased EP. Cool. Yeah, um, Four tracks. Again, yeah, great stuff. Which way around is it supposed to be? Is it on this, coloured, special coloured 12 inch vinyl? Nice. Um, yeah. They've got to be good. A lot of four track stuff come out this, this year. Mm -hmm. so They've got to be good. You know, but from big stuff. names as well. Yeah, I can't wait to hear that. Another great picture disc. Oh, Nina. Oh, yeah. Another one you really want as well. 99 Loved Balloons. Eurovision winner? Yeah. yeah. With four other tracks. That's right. Oh, I didn't know that. She didn't just do one song, or they didn't <laughs> just do one song, but yeah. Um, really looking forward to listening to that. Yeah, well, I think sure. the seven inch of Night Time Loft Balloons is actually quite hard to find in yeah. the UK. Yeah, of course. So get it on picture disc. Yeah, 12 Very inch cool. again, go creeping up in value for sure. Yeah, I think the last seven inch we sold was getting for like 15, 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Carl Cox. Carl Cox. Uh, Juan Atkins remixes Deep Space X. Carl Cox, Techno God. Can't wait to listen. Nice remix. It's simple as well. Yeah. Another one, X Press. <gasps> yeah, what a tune. Oh, what so, a tune. Right, actually, a lot of this Ben's not. This, well, <laughs> all of us, like, you know, we were all. Sadly, you can't buy us because these are all mine. <laughs> um, so yeah, we all know uh, Lazy Express Two, but Kill One Hundred is, I would argue, deep. their best deep. thing they've ever made. It's so so nice. good. Proper deep house, you know, real real yeah, yeah, yeah. real sort of moody deep house. Give it a listen. Get on Spotify. Give it a listen. You'll love it if you're into that I sort of stuff. Get one. Has, yeah. the, has, D, has um, Kill 100 been on vinyl before, or is this...? Not that I know of, it probably was on something, uh, an old 12, but not, not that I've uh, got. So I'm looking forward to getting <laughs> that one. Um, Scott Wayland, this has been... A lot of people have come out of the woodworks to, you know, want one of these as well. So, Scott Wayland, uh, debut solo album, cut from the original Master Tapes, 
He's trying to like do kind of a blue note cover on there as well for the looks of it. But uh, yeah, um, not sure which band he was in originally. Strong Roses? No. <laughs> no, <that's laughs> surely. Um, the Black Keys from the early 2000s. This nice. is uh, recorded live 2002, uh, Beachland Tavern, uh, Busted, um, Them Eyes. Dead Kill. Cool. Really good yeah, kind of garagey duo. Sick. And yeah, nice to see you then. Non such recordings. Non such used to do a lot of like library music, but they're doing kind of like indie now, I guess. So. Nice. It's that. Flock of Seagulls. Oh, Rare nice. birds. <laughs> Another B sides, edits, alternate mixes. Um, so yeah, I ran single edit. <laughs> sure, yeah. Big uh, Oh, I ran 12 inch it. mix. Nice. Amazing. So it, yeah, it, a couple of really good tracks there. It's all based on. You know, again, like there's there's common themes here of exclusive uh, B sides, B-sides, live stuff. You just For gotta sure. pick your favourite band and yeah. uh, grab the the one you want. Another one, Slade. Oh, uh, nice. Keep your hands off my power supply. Really cool cover. On yeah, that. really like, cool. Like, Cartoony. Nice cartoon cover. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, but yeah, on what colour vinyl is it? It is on translucent red. Translucent red. Nice there you stuff. go. And Keith Richards uh, oh, with nice. vintage Vinos, yeah, yeah, uh, two tone vinyl, new three, new, uh, three new lithographs. So like really nice kind of pictures in here. Um, and the and the fourth side is is an etched disc as looks well. Looks like a so. tip on jacket as well. Really nice, nice stuff. Solo anthology, you know. He's drinking a nice glass of milk there as well. Isn't <laughs> <it>? <laughs> yeah, and his calcium. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, you know, you need to get like. <laughs> That's how he's uh, stayed alive. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sigur Ross. It's a great Lovers. album, that one as well. Yeah. You said you had a poster of it. Yeah, I've got yeah. a poster of this yeah. at home. Wow. Do you have um, the album? I don't have the album, it's though. Really cool cover. Great stuff. <laughs> Do really enjoy them. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm not familiar with that album myself. I don't know, what Old is Dirty it? Bastard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really oh, nice. popular. Two, L uh, two picture disc LP. Yeah. I think this will go Huge in the first tunes. hour we're yeah, open. Easily. <laughs> so yeah, proper studio album on picture disc as well. Um really, really good. Really good. Yeah, return to the basics. It's got all the, the bangers dirt, on it, the all the ones you need. Version. <laughs> Love that. Twelve inch featuring Cool Keith. Nice stuff. Yeah. <laughs> cool Keith, awesome producer. Um Gotta grab it. His own standalone stuff is some of my favourite beats. Love it. Ultramagnetic MC is so get another, it. Another crazy. Oh, I thought it was a picture this time, but it's just a good kind of die cut sleeve of UFO. Uh, nice. This is um, exclude. Will the last man turning. Will the last man standing turn out the light? Uh, two LP heavyweight red and yellow vinyl. Uh, best of. So, what else do you need, you know, from UFO? Mm -hmm. Nice stuff. Really cool. Um, and yeah, I love the cover of that one. Again, great, great use of the uh, album format. Uh, Steph Sonic. Yeah, Steph nice Sonic, stuff. yeah. It's sort of like hip hop jazz, yeah, you know, yeah. sort of just really, um, <laughs> sort of, yeah. All that talk. Yeah, 80s, right. late 80s, sort of getting into house music, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. real sort of, a, yeah, a couple of. Um, I, I've got a 12 of these at home, uh, In the Rain or something, or The Rain, Sonic, I can't remember, but really good anyway. Great stuff. Um, That's what we're going to listen to then, probably. Definitely, really, really good. We've got <laughs> The Beatles Reggae, Volume yeah. 2, uh, kind of imitating the Yellow Submarine cover on there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there was a lot of these kind of uh, lover rock, kind of reggae Beatles covers in the 60s, and this is just a compilation of those kind of tracks, you know. Love the album cover, that's up. Awesome! Uh, we got, we got a few more of these, haven't we? Uh, Prince Rakeem. Oh, nice, okay. First, oh yeah, yeah, with the singles and all the instrumentals on that. Nice. Um, yeah, alternate mixes. Dead good. Love that. Oops, I fell over. Uh, Madsen Avenue. Oh, nice. <laughs> Don't call me baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah Some yeah. great sort of very, very early 2000s pop. Nice. Um, yeah. Well, you say? Don't get it enough, you know, again. Uh, early 2000s. Yeah. Nice. Um, very popular release. 10 inch of Matt Miller's alter ego, Larry Lovestein. Um, not giving this a chance to listen to, but I love Matt Miller's kind of jazzy edge. 
Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, this is his kind of, you know, indulgent, jazzy stuff. Yeah, you know? Mac Miller's awesome. Great stuff. We have... And that's all I've got to say on the matter. <laughs> Kay Solo. This is Tell the World My Name. Um, 1990, first vinyl reissue from the 1990 original rap criminal, you know, crazy stuff. But again, really love to see this. Real gone. Some really good hip hop. Some really good hip hop. Generation X, debut album with this sideways kind of OV strip, which is really cool. But yeah, uh, I love, we were listening to Generation X the other day mm -hmm. and it's really great stuff. Um, just great punk music. Yeah, for sure. And some great tracks in there as well. Um, yeah, nice package as well. You know? yeah. It's Yellow. got a nice OB strip, just the yeah. wrong way around. It should be done there, not across it. Anyway. What can you do? <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> uh, I mean, they're punks. They're going to do things a bit differently. Do it differently, yeah. <laughs> car, oh, Cart of the Unstoppable Sex Machine. Yeah, great picture this again, you know. What's on this? 30 something, Surfing USM, yeah, brilliant. Same. If you're a Carter fan, or a 30-something-year-old person. Yeah, that's it. Oh, <laughs> they, they wish. A bit more like 50-something now. Aha, uh -huh, it's Doctor Who. Ah. They do one of these every year. Um, this one is Doctor Who Annual 1976 Original Sound Design. So which Doctor's that? Tom Get, Baker. Get <laughs> Red and orange vinyl. No, they already because there's a lot of collectors for these things. Yes. Very collectible. When's it going to end, though? I mean, yeah, no, great. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have another great, massive one for this year. What is it? Ocean Colours scene. Oh, nice. Uh, grab one, grab one, grab one. B signs of Ocean Colours scene. Yeah, great stuff. Um, the day we caught the train. Yeah, for sure. Different mixes, that. Really, really Blue good. Blue vinyl as well. Nice stuff. Live day, day tripper. tripper, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, day tripper live. And Charlie this is, Brown says. This is on blue vinyl as well. Yeah. I'm sure look for a soon. Featuring Paul Weller and Rico Rodriguez. Looking forward to listening to that. Nice Great stuff. record. Plenty of those to go around. A lot of these that you can see as well that we might only have sort of one copy of and things like that. It's it's because they are super limited uh, sometimes it's because we've only just ordered one copy yeah, yeah, yeah. sometimes it's because we've been cut back and there's there's just not enough room to go around Watch. howard jones oh a few copies of this as well howard jones massive uh still you know holds some clout again some of his old records. bbc radio sessions BBC radio plenty of these one, to go around as well nice yeah, um, of loads of interest in it as well it, it, a lot of interest in that record we got jar wobble Redux. Joe nice Wobble stuff. tends to do something most years as well. Yeah, yeah for sure, you know. Um, Great 12 inches out there. Yeah. Can't get enough. There it is. Good stuff. Uh, we got Sheena Easton. <laughs> Essential 7 inch singles, 1980. You never see Sheena Easton no. on, on vinyl, so there you go. You've got, but you got the collection four of seven sides inches. of Sheena Easton there. Four sides. Nice. Awesome. Uh, this one's quite cool. This is uh, Suede Demos. Nice. So this is the first Suede self-titled album, Ooh. but the self uh, the, the demos of them, which is really cool. Comes in kind of a funny scene. Yeah, look at the well. edge as well. It's like yeah. a curved edge, which is cool. Oh, yeah. Enjoy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, great stuff though. Suede again. Um, I didn't really suede. like the first Suede album, so that's really cool to I'm clear see. Vinyl. Um, Ian McGulloch. Love you, McCulloch. 20th anniversary. Great stuff. Uh, white vinyl as well. Nice. There you go. Uh, really cool Pixies live one. They, they did this last year as well. Same kind of deal. But this is live in Brussels, 2009, performing Doolittle. Nice. Uh, so the biggest album by far. Uh, yeah, live in Brussels. Nice I mean, that's got extra things really that aren't really on Doolittle as well on there by the looks of it. Yeah, 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 so. yeah. Not yeah. just Doolittle, you know, they're doing a lot of stuff on that. Yeah, where is my mind? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> uh, Belinda Carlisle. Uh, nice. I'd grab one, grab yep, one. Take, nice. take one, pass it on. Uh, Heaven is a place on earth. Oh, Crazy. so this, this, <laughs> is, this is all the remixes. So awesome. you've got Again, yeah. William Orbit remixing loads of these. Is there um, enough, enough regular greatest hits of um, Linda Carr, for sure? Yeah, this is going to be so, so cool. I get weak William Orbit remix. I can't <laughs> wait to hear. 
Nice stuff. Awesome stuff. That's going to be super good. This one's a crazy one. Look at this one. So this is bluey dance mode. <laughs> Zoscope? Yeah, Zoscope uh, vinyl. Uh, I think I'm saying that right. Uh, basically, when you play it, oh uh, my yeah, gosh. Zotrope, Zotrope vinyl. So like, <laughs> I love a good Zotrope vinyl when you when you play it and it spins the right way. It looks like they're moving. It messes with your mind, it messes man. Messes your mind, you know. These even the tracks on this sound absolutely crazy. Yeah. I've got what, a track called Omelette, Sticky Gecko. Yeah. Uh, Do Bazoo. Great. It, this is like Sounds a. Sounds um, amazing. It's CBBS, I think. I think that's where it's. From. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It? Crazy stuff. But yeah, they had, they had Dougie last year, I think, and then yeah. um, this year it's... Uh, Getting the kids into vinyl early. Bluey, you got it. you got to show them Bluey. the Zotro, don't you? <laughs> Is he in Stone Roses? Yeah, probably. No. <laughs> uh, the Sword. Uh, really big, kind of like, you know, gothy kind of metal stuff. Yeah. And um, yeah, really nice shiny cover on this one as well, I'm looking at it. 15th yeah. anniversary of Gods of the Earth. Uh, yeah. Nice, limited colour vinyl, but it doesn't say what colour. Ah. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. You have to get one to find out. Yeah. The Prodigy, <laughs> uh, we have, this is Invaders yes. Must Die remixes again, new rare mixes on LP. Yeah. Uh, Some 180 gram. Huge, huge tunes on there. Yeah. Really, Great really stuff. good. Omen. Chasing Status remix. Yeah, it's going to be heavy, <laughs> this. It's going to be it's really, hard, really heavy. Hard. Another really cool one, which. Um, the Orb featuring oh. uh, Lee Scratch Perry. Excellent. Amazing. Yeah. Really, Cooking really well. Amazing thieves. Well. You know, he did um, yeah. Mad Professor. It was Mad Professor and um, who was it? Uh, Apex Twin, was it? No. Um, someone. But these dub guys, when they get along with the electronic guys, it just goes off, you know. Goes off. <laughs> There's oh, an that's interesting. So cool. um, Soul Man reshaped. There's an interesting video of the orb talking about working with Lee Scratch Perry and how much of an absolute nightmare it is. <laughs> Why? Um, what, what made him a nightmare? Just <laughs> like incredibly difficult to like Work do anything and just couldn't pin him down. Uh, <laughs> you know, yeah. and it's just like he, he would he would sing and he would talk when he wanted right, to yeah, and just yeah, like, yeah. amazing. Couple of probably green. trying to set their studio on fire. Uh, <laughs> two releases on Lacuna Coil. Nice. There you go, if you know, you know. Um, transparent red vinyl and clear vinyl. So there you go. Again, like, you know, something which isn't reissued often at all. Yeah, and again, and just from, from that era, you know. Yeah, from um, the era of the dark age of vinyl, you know. You can, which you can needs tell there. The red dark red ages of vinyl, where there wasn't any. Uh, we have Future Sounds of London, second release from them. I was really admiring this back cover of all things. Like, look at that. Yeah, Amazing. wow. Uh, Sound of London, another thousand numbered copies of this. We've got 792 on the back. <laughs> We've got 533. Three, three, that's the lowest one. That's yeah. the one. But yeah, <laughs> um, great stuff. Yeah, and love it. Future Sounds of London, every year something from Echoes. This year, too. One seven inch from Frank Carr and the Rattlesnakes. Oh, nice, nice okay, stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, again, seven inches, quite hard to shift, you know, on Records Store Day, but if they're well. If they're well um, priced. Yeah, well packaged, well they packaged. will go. They'll go. This is one Jess was, another one Jess was um, Another one. Black Rebel Motorcycle Club Levitation Sessions. Now, nice. Levitation Sessions are always really great. Yeah, it's uh, quite Austin, a fa Texas. famous uh, record. Yeah, OCs have done mm -hmm. it, uh, Primal Scream's done it. I bought a Fuzz one recently, Fuzz. which is great. Yeah. So nice. That's um, cool. Look at that, you know. RSD coloured vinyl. Doesn't tell you which one. Bonus flexi seven inch as well. Don't oh, see awesome. the flexi. Where do they press flexi this now? It's <laughs> good. That is a fantastic question. Uh, and last one for this box, at least. Uh, we've got Art Blakey, uh, the Jazz Workshop. Nice. That's in San Francisco, I'm fairly sure it's uh, But yeah, it's always where love. They make jazz. It's where they make jazz. We are the Jazz Box. And um, yeah, great stuff. <laughs> Can't get enough of Art Blakey. Massive. Uh, new U2 album as well. So this year they did their kind of reworked um, acoustic kind of album. And this one is an EP of some of their biggest tracks, you know, Sunday Bloody Sundays on here. Uh, two Hearts Sunday, Beat is one. Bloody Sunday. White vinyl. <laughs> Hopefully it's going to be real big because U2 fans again got to have them all. Yeah, and originally, originally we thought this was going to be a seven inch, but um, they've even censored Bono. Look at that. Like Bono's eyes are like blacked out. But. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure he was not involved in that one. Anyway, 
uh, YouTube. Great oh. stuff. Pop music. Pop music. By M. Nice. There you go. Let's get this one up there. Really so good. A couple of 12 inch mixes, 7 inch version, that sort of palaver, very cool. Uh, we have Duran Duran, or I heard someone in the shop call it Drun Drun the other day, uh, which was quite funny. Was it you? reminded of me, yeah. <laughs> I can't pronounce anything. Uh, this is nice. kind of, again, remixes, kind of, yeah, yeah Rio Me. Remixes remix. of Rio Their Hungry best album, Wolf, for sure, you know. Um, night version, looking forward to listening to that. But yeah. Uh, always do well with Duran Duran, and um, yeah, great stuff. New Religion, yeah, fantastic tunes, man. Moving on. <laughs> Cross Eye Strangers, Wilco. Uh, from there, the, which album was that off? Um, big album by Wilco, though. Yeah, I know, we had yeah, it yeah. not so long ago, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, great indie rock. Um, love there you to go. see it. Uh, love to see it. Love to see it, we've got a Groove Armada. Oh. Excellent black black light. Uh, this so good. So this is their sort of more yeah, modern uh, recent <laughs> album from a few years ago. Yeah. Um, Look at that Quite oh, God, just thinking about it, it's quite a few years. Twenty ten, bud. That just that just <laughs> made me realise how fast life was going by. Um, but yeah, Paper Romance, huge tune on that. Black of um, and the whole album's brilliant. Madonna coming back at it again. What? American Life. Mix show, mix, mix show mix. I thought I was going to oh, Nice. 20th anniversary EP, this one. That doesn't all end. Die right? Another Day, Thunder Plus Club. Oh, no way. No way. It's going to yeah. be good. It's going to be good. Those Madonna collectors <laughs> out in droves. Uh, yeah. Another big release coming up, which I completely forgot about. But um, Mars Volta, this is an EP or no, single, uh, live version of uh, The Widow on the back, Francis the Mute on the front. Mars Volta. Still got a lot of big fans. We've got an expensive Mars Volta on the wall somewhere. There you go. Uh, this is of De Laust in the <laughs> Cometria. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, that. That yeah, we'll say that one. Yeah, we'll say that one. Another big release before we wrap up for the day. Um, we got Blur. Um, this is um, Satisfaction Guaranteed. Um, this is kind of like imitating a weird kind of 60s, 80s. I don't know what they were going for with this, but I do recognise it from digging through old vinyl, you know. Yeah, um, not, definitely not their sort of like biggest record, but um, um, you know, really, individually really numbered good, as well. Really good. Um, it says individually numbered, signed by hand, but I've got two eight <laughs> seven seven, three eight seven seven, four eight seven seven. Nice. Um, so eight seven seven. Oh yeah, that's that's unusual. Very um, weird. Fred featuring Blur Seymour. Unusual, but yeah. So they're you know knocking this stuff out because of their um, re. They're getting back together for that live tour, aren't they? Ah, so yeah, this, yeah. This uh, this year, yeah, next year. But that's 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 what what a year. What a year, <laughs> for, a a year for music. Um, uh, are we missing any other records? I think that's, I think that's it, that's, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So we'll have loads of people queuing for Blur, <laughs> loads for the Nine Seventy Five. Yeah. But we're, we're Oh, there's a box down there. There's just a few more boxes. Ah, Let me just. What about this one? <laughs> just don't so know what this one is. We've just yeah. got a couple, maybe <laughs> even a handful, maybe even a few of uh, this new upcoming artist called um, Taylor. Taylor Swift. Yeah. Uh, she's featuring Boniver there. Boniver, big Wait, guy, you know. Must, must be good. Uh, but if you want one of these, make sure you're in the queue early. We can't tell you when to get in because we don't want to. Yeah. disappoint anyone if we told you come here for 3 a.m and there was you know 50 people in the queue before you uh you'd want our blood so yeah. as mm -hmm. early as you're willing to get up that's yeah. when yeah. to come so we, as it Sol said we've got 30 of these yeah. so that's all we could get we couldn't get any more they're completely sold and out that's fairly so. um i was saying that's fairly um what's the word sort of evenly distributed yeah evenly distributed i think there will be some bigger record shops that have been doing it a lot longer than us that will have a lot more copies than that but I was, I was little sure. indies like us you know 30 I, I, copies i was saying right. to jess um i want to do the american beauty cover um naked with uh <laughs> i don't know if anyone wants to see this all, all over me uh, <laughs> but then we wouldn't sell them would we <laughs> people would be like i'm not touching that and if you don't if you do miss out on a copy of this as well we do have a lot of other taylor swift Definitely. in the shop so we have we'll got pick up something. Folklore and have a more regular version. Um, 
Disney Plus as well, the mouse himself, approved by the mouse himself. <laughs> Uh, but great, Taylor Swift, back, back in the box until Saturday, yeah. very excited, um, what else is there to say? That's it, but there you go, quite a long video and I hope you enjoyed it um, and I hope it's given you a little bit of an insight into what we're going to have in the shop for you to buy um, and yeah hopefully you'll be watching this video on Thursday so you'll have a couple of days to prepare and organise a bank loan. I know I will. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> <laughs> right. See you later. So, and as well, if you like to subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe. Make like sure you it. Do. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you're looking forward to picking up. And also, if you wanna go on our website and see what else we do, links in the little box description thing. Bye. See you on Saturday.